Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Zhang Chen from Intel OTC. Uh, I'm from uh, Shanghai, China. Uh, my topic uh, is application acknowledged high availability solution on hypervisor level. Uh, the first is agenda. Uh, uh, firstly, uh, we will talk about background uh, introduction, uh, and then we will talk uh, introduction, cross gram lock stepping. Uh, that's that's the color. Uh, the next uh, we will uh, talk the uh, new changes and uh, performance and the customer. Uh, the last, uh, we will uh, talk some uh, future work about Colo. Uh, uh, that's the background, uh, the non-stop service with VM replication. Uh, with the development of uh, IT infrastructure, um, most of people uh, migrate its service from uh, physical machine to the virtual machine. Uh, so in this background, uh, if they want to make their service always running, uh, they need uh, uh, do some uh, high availability related job in their uh, service. Uh, so they have uh, they, 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 they make, uh, uh, in this time, they must uh, make a decision uh, to do this uh, uh, high availability job uh, in application level or in the uh, hypervisor level. Uh, if they want to uh, do this job in application level, um, they will uh, handle much of work uh, because application uh, always changing, and uh, if the application uh, and uh, uh, if the uh, application changes, uh, the, the high, availability, uh, high availability job uh, will more complex. Uh, so in this, uh, so here the hypervisor level high availability uh, solution uh, shows advantage. Uh, in this diagram, we can see we have two nodes, uh, the primary nodes and the secondary nodes. Uh, that's uh, both physical nodes. Um, and uh, user, uh, user service uh, running in the uh, guest OS. Uh, if some uh, hardware failure uh, occurs in the primary node, um, in this time, uh, the this system will detect the failure and uh, uh, switch the uh, switch the uh, service from the primary node to the uh, secondary node. Uh, we we named this uh, forward. Uh, let's. Uh, introduction color. Mm. Uh, firstly, uh, we we must uh, uh, talk the client and the service mode model um, because uh, color base uh, color's uh, design based uh, this model. Um, if we uh, make guest OS as a server. Uh, the, the client uh, will uh, connect to the uh, server uh, the, uh, through the network. Uh, they will send a request to the uh, guest OS. Uh, guest OS running user's application and uh, do some re response. Uh, for, ex for example, uh, if somebody uh, want to Read some news. Uh, they will uh, access. Uh, they will access some uh, website. 
we can image the website uh, running in the guest OS. Uh, so they, they, they must, uh, their device like the uh, smartphone will send a request uh, to the VM. Uh, like say, uh, we want to uh, some news uh, and, the server, uh, and the server will, uh, will, will send a response. Uh, in this time, the, the, uh, the client only care about the response. Um, The colo um, and the colo, um, uh, as we know, uh, have some of uh, uh, existing uh, high availability uh, solution in the hypervisor level, uh, like uh, my micro checkpoint or Remus. Uh, and colo compared uh, with uh, that existing, uh, existing uh, solution have some advantage, uh, like uh, pr primary VM and uh, secondary VM exist, uh, execute in parallel. Uh, and the uh, micro checkpoint and the remotes uh, not uh, Compared uh, the uh, the colo will compare the output package from primary VM and the secondary VM to uh, detect uh, VM status. Um, colo will uh, synchronize the secondary VM state uh, with primary VM when the response uh, are not identical. Um, Compared with the uh, Remus or Micro Checkpoint, uh, they will uh, stop the secondary VM and uh, wait to next uh, checkpoint. Uh, they do a, a periodic uh, checkpoint uh, from the, the primary node to the secondary node. And this time, uh, the network uh, um, must, uh, the network package must be buffered. So the performance uh, uh, is very low. Uh, and Colo has a big advantage about the network job. Uh, let's talk about the scenario. Uh, uh, basically, Colo uh, can support uh, both, both services. Uh, but uh, for the real cases, uh, we can divide uh, uh, the network service uh, to uh, stateless service and the stateful service. Uh, like UDP-based uh, application uh, <coughs> named the, the uh, stateless service um, and the TCP-based application uh, named the, the stateful service. We have both the, uh, both service uh, have its own uh, advantage and disadvantage. Uh, like the UDP based application uh, can have the low latency, um, and the colo uh, is designed for the stateless. Uh, not designed for the stateless service, uh, but for critical. Uh, Stateful service. Uh, our solution uh, can protect your service even from physical network or power interruption. Mm, that's uh, why Colo better uh, compare with micro checkpoint and uh, Remus. Uh, we no buffering uh, introduced. Uh, latency, and uh, less checkpoint frequency. Uh, for example, uh, the Remus uh, may, uh, in, in, in real case, the Remus, uh, we, we, we must uh, set the checkpoint frequency like uh, 100 uh, ms. Uh, the the colo can, can set the periodic uh, checkpoint as 10 seconds or or longer. So for the network uh, application, the Colos performance is uh, 
very high compared to the, the micro checkpoint or Remus. Uh, and compare the instruction lock stepping, uh, that's uh, uh, the old design. Uh, this design uh, will sync the, uh, the processor's in, uh, instructions uh, and they have lots of issues. So mm, that's color history. Uh, in the 2013, uh, Colo paper published on SOCC. Uh, and in the 2015, uh, Colo framework merged by then. Uh, this framework based on uh, then live migration and uh, then uh, Remus project. Uh, and uh, in the 2018, uh, all color related patches merged by QMU. Uh, this time have a lot of uh, business uh, because in our original design, um, color network related job um, just uh, running in the kernel space, uh, like domain zero, uh, but uh, uh, we have a lot of concerns. Uh, uh, we communicate with the kernel uh, community. Uh, we, uh, the, the finally, we drop this design and uh, redevelop the kernel uh, network-related job on the QMU space, uh, that's user space. Uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, advantage. Uh, I will talk uh, in the next. Um, and now we have some new features. That's the uh, old uh, color architecture. Uh, in this in this diagram, we can see uh, color uh, have uh, th three model uh, three models. The color frame uh, that's in Zen space, and uh, color proxy um, block replication. The old color uh, architecture, the uh, just uh, the block replication in the QMU space, and the color uh, proxy uh, in the domain zero uh, kernel space. Uh, we compared this diagram with the new. That's the new color architecture. Uh, we move. Uh, we moved the color proxy uh, from. Uh, kernel space to the user space. Uh, that's, we have a lot of uh, uh, advantage. Uh, in, this, uh, in this diagram, we can see uh, some of um, network I.O. and the disk I.O. Uh, we can, uh, I can explain it in detail. Uh, firstly, uh, we can see the uh, orange, orange arrow uh, in the, the, the primary node uh, from the uh, external network. Uh, that's from uh, the client light, uh, like your phone or something, to, to uh, send a request to the primary VM. We, can, uh, we want to get some information or something. So the, the request from the external network, uh, firstly, they will uh, throw the, 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 the call of uh, the Zen and to the QMU side. Uh, QMU side, the call of proxy uh, will mirror this request uh, to the primary VM and the secondary VM. Uh, at this time, the primary VM and the uh, secondary VM that's running uh, parallel. So uh, the the guest, the, the two set guest uh, will get the same request. Uh, so the running, uh, so the user application uh, gets the request. Will send some response. Uh, will want to send some response to the client. Uh, so we can see the black arrow uh, in the primary VM. The response will 
will be sent to the color proxy firstly. Uh, and this time, the second rate VM will send uh, its own response to the uh, secondary color proxy. Uh, and the secondary color proxy will redirect uh, this response to the primary nodes uh, color proxy. Uh, and uh, here, the primary color proxy get a two side response uh, night packet. So uh, they will compare this packet in the primary node uh, color proxy. So uh, if the if the network package is same, uh, I said the uh, I say the uh, workload is same. Uh, they will uh, we think the primary node and uh, primary VM and the second VM the state is same. So we 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 have nothing to do. We just uh, uh, send the package uh, outside. Uh, if the packet is not same at this time, uh, we think uh, the, the primary VM, uh, the state is different with the uh, uh, secondary VM. So uh, in this time, the color proxy will send a message to uh, color frame uh, to, to, uh, to notify the uh, color frame and do a checkpoint. Uh, the checkpoint job, uh, man, uh, mainly uh, we can see the checkpoint job like uh, live migration. Uh, the just uh, um, migration the primary VM to the secondary VM uh, for the memory. And uh, uh, at this time, the, the VM state uh, can be uh, same, can be forced for, forced to same. Mm, and uh, that's the uh, network and the color uh, frame stop. And another one is block replication. Uh, the block replication's mainly job is to uh, redirect the, the primary VM's uh, write, write request. Uh, they will uh, send the write request to the secondary uh, block replication. Um, and uh, in the primary node, they will write to the uh, primary node storage. Uh, the secondary node uh, cannot uh, write to the secondary storage uh, directly. Uh, the secondary VM will, uh, ha will have another uh, write request. So in this time, we will buffer the two uh, write request and uh, until the next uh, checkpoint to decide how to uh, handle this request. Mm. Another module, the last module is uh, 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 heartbeat. Uh, this module uh, we can uh, make it uh, mm, at uh, uh, a normal application running in domain zero, uh, or we, we, we have uh, internal uh, hard bit in the cumul. Okay. Mm, that's the difference. Uh, it's old uh, color proxy based on kernel net filter module. That needs user manually patch and uh, rebuild the domain zero kernel. Uh, so uh, that's not easy for the user. Uh, the new color proxy code uh, all implement, uh, implement in the cumul, uh, so they no need to uh, modify the kernel. Uh, and uh, the uh, color's code uh, have been uh, upstream to the uh, cumul currently. So user just uh, need to uh, clone the upstream cumul and uh, make it can use color, yeah, currently. Uh, and uh, currently, uh, the, the user space uh, uh, proxy have more generic code split this uh, color proxy job to um, four, four modules. Uh, filter redirector, filter mirror, and filter rewriter. 
and the color compare. Uh, the, uh, the four modules uh, related uh, to another, uh, communicated to other, uh, use the uh, uh, char, char, char DV uh, socket uh, internally. Mm, that's a detail diagram. Uh, that's for the block replication. Uh, we can see the detailed step, how to uh, send and write the uh, request to the storage, and uh, how to handle handle it when the uh, when occur checkpoint and uh, forward. Uh, when when occurs the checkpoint event, uh, we will drop the secondary VM cache. Uh, if occurs forward, we will write the secondary VM cache to the uh, storage. Uh, because in this time, we think uh, we think we think the VM VM's uh, failure uh, may be um, caused by the uh, by the previous uh, block write request. So we will uh, write the secondary VM's cache to the storage. Mm, that's the color frame. Uh, this module just uh, uh, reuse the uh, then long migration codes. Uh, uh, just uh, um, uh, track the dirty page and uh, send to the secondary nodes. Just new changes. Uh, new changes uh, is uh, color proxy design. Currently, we uh, all implement in QMU uh, and based on QMU NetFilter component and SLIRP component. Uh, this component uh, is a user space TCP IP stack. Uh, and uh, the detail, uh, you can see the QMU docs uh, have a file named uh, color proxy. Mm, that's uh, uh, color design, uh, color proxy design, uh, the kernel, kernel scheme. Uh, we can see the color proxy in the kernel space. And the step is same with the user space Color, color proxy. That's the user space. Uh, we can see the color proxy move, uh, move to the QMU space. And the step I have uh, talk about it. Mm, that's uh, internal uh, connection. And the, 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 the many uh, for modules, uh, how to communicate uh, each other and to, <coughs> to, to, uh, to this whole system. Mm, that's the new features. Uh, we developed uh, uh, integrate uh, color halibut module. Uh, this module uh, just in uh, QMU side uh, that uh, user can uh, easily uh, enable colors. All features uh, didn't uh, need the uh, external heartbeat interface. Uh, and the internal heartbeat uh, can reduce the time and of fault detection and uh, response. Uh, another one is we enable the continuous backup. Continuous backup the VM after four. Mm, let's talk about the performance and uh, customer. Uh, that's the performance data. Uh, we can see uh, about the uh, this data. We compare the color VM uh, with the native VM in the same physical machine. And uh, firstly, the kernel build. Uh, we can see the color, uh, 
color project uh, have less uh, influence to the uh, kernel build performance. Uh, for the network related uh, performance, uh, the UDP stream or the uh, UDP RR uh, netperf, <coughs> we have half, uh, about half our performance uh, compared to the native VM. And the TCP is lower uh, because uh, we must uh, uh, we must uh, uh, compare the uh, net package uh, to decide uh, whether uh, we whether we, we we will do uh, do checkpoint or do nothing. Just uh, send the package to the outside. Uh, so for the network, um, we have to a um, lot of uh, optimi optimization. Yeah, uh, currently we uh, in the compare uh, work, we uh, in the QMU, we, we, we open an independent IO thread to do this job. Uh, and for customer, uh, customer, uh, I just can say, say something about that. Uh, currently, uh, customer is Huawei and uh, this stack, uh, a, chi a Chinese uh, CSP. And the future work, uh, we will do some bug fix and strengthening stability. Uh, we will uh, sh uh, do some uh, shared storage spot and network performance optimization and the libreboard spot. Okay, that's all. I have some questions. Hello. Um, oh. I'm just curious. Have you ever? Anyway, have you ever um, actually had a real failure failover like in, in production and, and have it sort of? Work. I'm just curious if it's a yes, it, it, in the in the Huawei, uh, they have a pro productive uh, pro, uh, they, ha they have a product yeah. uh, inter uh, inter uh, the, the product uh, ha has a color feature. Uh, so in this product, uh, they 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 they, uh, they have some user case uh, for the critical uh, critical service. Uh, yes, we 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 uh, the test we, we can um, if the primary node uh, uh, cut down the network or the power, uh, the colo can switch the service. Um, okay. Yes, uh, 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 the the time uh, about uh, uh, one second or less. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, is is all this like with QEMU? Is that is that integrated now with the, the Zen code? If someone downloaded Zen 412, um, would they be able to use stuff out of the box, or is there more stuff that needs to be upstream? Uh, currently, uh, currently, Colo, uh, Colos, uh, yes, yeah, this, this, this diagram. Uh, currently, uh, Colos, most of codes in the QMU. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, so uh, just uh, the, the color frame in the Zen. Uh, uh, so uh, currently it worked well uh, in my test. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hello? Mm. So we, we were testing Colo in OSS testing. Um, it kind of broke, and there wasn't really anybody around who seemed able to fix it, so we got that. Are you interested in repairing that and getting that tested then upstream? I think that would. Yes, uh, recently I sent a patch to fix some issues, uh, because uh, the color pro uh, project uh, uh, currently, uh, because uh, some of uh, our previous job, we, we, we uh, imply, uh, 
implement uh, Colo in the QM side. So uh, in the Zen side, I have some, uh, we, we must do some update job. So uh, car, uh, recently I, I have sent a patch and uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the future I will send a uh, much patch about that. Sorry, you say Linux changes are needed as well? No, uh, the, the, the QM side, QM and QMU. Right. Yeah, so uh, so in the QM side, the Colo have uh, two versions. One version is Zen Colo, and another version is QM Colo. Yeah, so the QM side, in the QM side, uh, we currently work well. And for the Zen side, uh, to, uh, because some changes in the QMU, uh, so the uh, then side we, we we have to do some update job. Yeah, currently I have sent a patch and uh, right. I saw some of the XL patches. So um, on just a slight segue, those patches I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm up to date on what was written on the list, but I got the impression that those changes that it's not compatible. That is, you can't that the changes in QMU have already gone in and that the existing Zen codes before your recent patches is no longer compatible with upstream QMU, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we should probably just take those patches then. Um, and um, I look forward to your, um, hopefully, some contributions to the testing. Okay, okay. Because we'd like to test this. And if you, if you get it tested in OSS test, then um, if somebody else breaks it, that would be a block of us. They have it, they can then produce yeah. the thing and people might fix it. Yes, yes. Any questions? Okay, uh, thank you, everybody.